Situated in the heart of Georgia, the city of Dublin has developed an investment hub on Interstate 16 through infrastructure improvements partially funded through federal grants. The I-16 Industrial Park has attracted millions of dollars in capital and provides jobs for people throughout the region. The city of Dublin received two federal grants in 2009 um, to provide infrastructure to bring in two international companies. For both companies, this is their first U.S. site. The first grant that we received was a $500,000 employment incentive grant. The second grant is an Economic Development Administration grant. We received this grant um, to provide, help provide the utilities as well. It's very important that we have infrastructure in order to to bring these jobs to our community. I'm Brad Lofton. I'm the president of the Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority. This park wouldn't be here today were it not for uh, the uh, participation of the federal government through a couple of the grants that have already been mentioned. Um, today, as a result of that federal infrastructure spend, uh, two of our very largest employers are now behind me, representing about 600 new jobs. Uh, an investment of about $180 million. Um, and those things don't just happen by accident. Uh, they're the result of good partnerships, both from the federal, state, and local level. I can tell you, for somebody who's been doing economic development in rural Georgia now for almost 20 years, uh, we depend on uh, the federal government being at the table with us, willing to invest those uh, critically needed infrastructure dollars uh, and you can see the result of that investment today. But just in the last 10 years, our unemployment rate has gone from a, a high end of 14% to a, an unemployment rate today of approximately 5.5%. I can't think of an investment as a federal taxpayer that pays more a rate of return than when you can put food on someone's table, send kids to college, uh, and do all of those things that are so critically important to keep towns like Dublin, Georgia thriving. Hi, I'm Phil Best. I'm the mayor of the city of Dublin. And uh, I guess the important thing about this is to know that uh, our taxpayers uh, voted to tax themselves, basically. And we took $15 million off of the uh, top of the last splotch referendum and dedicated that to economic development. By doing that, we were able to uh, leverage with the state and with the federal government and have have some pretty good projects and, and infrastructure projects that were able to bring jobs in for our folks, which was much needed.